Preparing for surgery. Before the surgery. It is advisable to think ahead and note what you'll need during the recovery period. If you have children, you may consider the help of a caregiver to assist you and take care of your kids while you recover. Make things easier by taking at least a full week off from work. Best practices before your surgery include arranging for additional help and assistance, shopping for necessary items and groceries, preparing meals in advance to avoid cooking, purchasing magazines, books, and preparing a movie list to stay entertained while you heal. Your surgeon may ask you to use an antibacterial soap, which you'll use to wash and bathe per your post surgical instructions. You may also need soft gauze bandages that you can use to keep the incision sites well protected. The day of the surgery. The night before or hours prior to the surgery, refrain from eating any food. Wear or bring along loose and comfortable clothes so it would be easy for you to dress after the procedure. When you arrive at the clinic or hospital, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You'll have a short chat with your surgeon about what's going to happen. Once you're in the operating room, the anesthesiologist will administer the anesthesia and make sure you receive the prescribed dosage throughout the procedure to keep you from waking up or feeling any pain. Some people have allergic reactions to anesthesia. The anesthesiologist is trained to monitor patients' reactions and act immediately if something goes wrong. The type of breast implants and technique that will be used will determine where the incisions are made, either below the breasts, under the armpits, around the areolas slash nipples, or in the navel area. The surgeon will use one of several techniques to insert and position the implants either above, between, or behind the muscle tissue. Again, this is predetermined during the consultation process. Silicone implants are pre-sized and filled with gel before placement, while saline implants will be placed empty and then filled to the desired cup size through a tube after the implant shells have been inserted in the breast pockets. After the breast implants are properly inserted, filled, and positioned, the surgeon will check for symmetry. Then the incision sites will be closed using stitches. Once the surgery is complete, your surgeon will apply topical medications and bandage the surgical areas. As you start to regain consciousness, the surgeon may ask a few questions to determine your cognitive capabilities. Once you're able to answer simple questions and vital signs are back to normal, the staff members will help you to dress up in preparation for the ride home. Before you're discharged, the surgeon or his staff will give you a copy of the post-surgery instructions and make sure you understand how to take care of yourself and how others can help. Click Next to find out more about the cost of breast implants.